So I made a really powerful node in Godot and it might be a bit controversial, but I'm gonna kind of show you what it does, how I use it, and hopefully get some ideas on how I can add to it from you guys. So what it is, is this expression executor node, but essentially what it allows you to do is execute code without a script file. So you can see in the properties, I have this expression property. And inside of here, I've just written a super easy like one liner that randomizes the texture of the grass. And I don't need a designated script file for my grass. And this might be a bit controversial, like I said, because the code isn't stored in a script, it's stored inside of the scene. Now, there are really specific use cases like this where I definitely see myself preferring this method, but there are a bunch of places where you would not wanna use this. So let's kind of go over like why I'm using it in this way and then kind of how you should use it I think I haven't really seen anyone use expressions like this in Godot. So a lot of feedback on this would be appreciated. So basically the issue that I had and the reason why I created this is I have this grass clump and I want it to randomize the texture when it's ready. So creating an entire script just to randomize a texture seems way overkill for me. And that's gonna split my grass formation object into two separate files. So I'd have the scene file and the script file. And doing that for a lot of entities in my game just kind of seems like I would be bloating my files a lot more than I'd need. So by using an expression executor, I'm instead saying like, hey, I literally just wanna get the sprite node and set the frame to a random range when this node is ready. And just so that I don't forget about this functionality, I could even like rename this to uh, randomize texture expression executor. And that way, whenever I go into my grass scene, I automatically like remember this thing exists. And then I have another use case to show you guys, but a quick thing is you can also execute this expression inside of the editor because it's just a tool script. So if I wanna randomize the texture here, I can just click this button and you can see that the expression keeps getting executed, which is pretty cool. Like you could technically make a tool script without having to like set up your entire plugin. And I'll kind of show you guys how to set up a bit more advanced logic in a second. But the second example I have is something that I do a lot. And that is basically hiding a node when the game starts. And typically what I would do is make a class that's entirely for hiding the parent node on start. And I think even that is a bit overkill. So with my expression executor node, that makes this task extremely easy. Like you literally just say, get parent.hide and now you have a visible node in the editor and as soon as you test play the game it's going to hide it without having an entire script without having a new class that's dedicated to just that one task so i think that's another kind of cool use case again this isn't something that like you're going to run into all the time in game development it's just like these super little uh, quality of life things. Now, some quick limitations. Um, you cannot execute anything inside of this expression. Like you can't just put an entire script, which I think is good. If you do end up installing this plugin, do not use it in place of scripts. I think it's best to only use this kind of a thing for tasks that are either temporary, like testing things out, or scenarios like this where I have my grass and all I wanna do is randomize the texture. I think that's a valid place to use it. And obviously you can't even do stuff like define functions or for loops or anything like that. So it is a bit limiting, which I think is a good thing. Keep using scripts. This is not a replacement for generic code. <laughs> So adding to this example really quick, just to show you guys a little more uh, feature capability, I can execute multiple lines by making this into an array and then basically putting each expression as an entry inside of that array. So let's say I wanted to randomize the scale of the root node. I can basically define my inputs, which you can think of them as like variables inside of this dictionary. So I could say like, I want a new key that is the root node and we're gonna set it as a node path assign it to the root. And let's say I wanted to change the scale of this on ready as well, which I wouldn't recommend doing uh, in a real scenario, but just for the example, right? I could say on my second line, root node.set, we're gonna do scale, and then I can do a vector two and copy over this randi range for each argument inside of that vector. And then let's see, we don't have bracket highlighting, so I gotta count these out, but it would be one more close there. And then I also forgot that our root node is only a path. So I actually have to put this one in brackets as well, and then call the get node function. And now we should be able to execute this. And it will set the scale uh, randomly of the grass formation. So the expression executor does support multiple lines. Again, this is not a replacement for code. So don't go overkill with this. But with that, feel free to pick up the plugin. It's 
just an add-on that I made. So I'll link the GitHub repository in the description or also the pinned comment or whatever. And you guys can try it out. I think it would be great to get feedback. So if you guys try this out and find like a really good use case for it, definitely leave a comment or hit me up in the Discord server or whatever. But I think it would be really cool to like see if this is something that people would actually use. Again, I think it could be really controversial. So I don't wanna really like promote this a ton because I'm not sure which areas of game development I would actually use something like this, aside from the use cases I showed in the video, obviously. Yeah, that's about it. Just let me know if, if this is a cool idea or if you guys would like to see me expand upon this. Um, maybe it could become an official node. Probably not, because it's a bit dangerous, but yeah. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. Quick shout out to all the current channel members. You guys are awesome and all your support is super appreciated. Again, make sure to check out the links in the description if you're interested in picking up the plugin or joining the Discord or something. But I hope you guys have a good week. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.